Brain tech, yeah. Weird tech is made simple. Microsoft have started to roll out the latest and second optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 22H2. And this is exactly the same update I posted on just a couple of days ago when it was still in release preview and now has made its way to the stable version, which is KB5018496. And this was um, released on the 25th of October 2022. Now, in case you're unaware, the optional updates will appear in this section on your Windows update page. And as I always suggest, every month with the updates that roll out near the end of every month, the optional bug fix C release updates, only install them if you have any issues with your operating system, else just ignore the update as most of the improvements and fixes will be carried over and be made available in the Patch Tuesday update, which is a compulsory update next month on the second Tuesday of November. Now, if you do decide to install the update, the um, OS build will now be bumped up. Um, if we just head over to WinVer, the OS build will be bumped up to uh, 22,061.755, and that's now the latest OS build and version of the Windows 11 um, operating system. Now, um, there are a couple of new improvements and key highlights that Microsoft has um, mentioned in the release notes. And I did go through these um, when I did post that previous video, but just to do a quick recap, um, there are enhancements um, apparently to search visual treatments on the taskbar uh, to improve discoverability according to Microsoft. And at this stage, this is rolling out to a limited set of users and will deploy more broadly in the months that follow according to Microsoft. But um, there are reports, just on a side note regarding that feature, which I'm not seeing any enhancements yet on my taskbar, is that um, with third-party software, uh, in, after installing this latest update, um, you can um, enable the tablet optimized taskbar and a redesigned notification area in Windows 11 version 22H2, which possibly could be, they are currently hidden features, so possibly those could be the uh, visual treatments on the taskbar that Microsoft is talking about when it comes to discoverability. And then they've also um, made enhancements to the backup experience when using your Microsoft account. And once again, um, they say you might notice some visual treatments for this enhancement. And I'm not really seeing anything too much if I head to my accounts and my backup at this stage, because they also say this will deploy um, more broadly in the next months. And then they've also made improvements um, to the Microsoft account experience in the settings. Um, as an example, Microsoft says you can manage your Microsoft OneDrive subscription and related storage alerts. And then I think the big one with this update, which is rolling out over the coming weeks, is um, the right-click taskbar context menu will start getting the task manager setting. Now, um, this will roll out over the next coming weeks. So if you're not seeing uh, this new feature, then um, you will, um, as mentioned, get it um, in due course. And that just gives you a right click um, shortcut now to the task manager, which is a highly requested feature that Microsoft um, has now started to roll out. And I think that would be the key highlight for this um, update. And um, if you are not seeing the task manager setting yet, um, I have actually posted a video where you can make some tweaks to the registry, which will um, bring this uh, task manager setting to the right-click context menu of the taskbar. And I'll leave a link in the, in the description to that video if that would be of interest, if you want to get that feature sooner than later. And then just to make mention of some others, other fixes and improvements, they've made two um, improvements and fixes to the Internet Explorer mode. Uh, there was an issue that might cause vertical and horizontal line artifacts to appear on the screen that's been fixed. And they've addressed an issue that might fail to sync the audio when you record gameplay using the Xbox Game Bar. And there's also another issue that was affecting the File Explorer. And according to Microsoft, um, it was less dependable when you browse for Microsoft OneDrive folders. And then um, there was an issue regarding the Start menu. Uh, it was uh, it had stopped working when you use keyboard commands to move pinned items to a folder at the end of a list. Apparently, that's been addressed. 
And then um, they've made improvements to the daylight saving time in Jordan. So it stops the start of daylight saving time in Jordan at the end of October 2022. And then just one other notable mention. Um, a couple of days ago, Microsoft rolled out an out-of-band update, which I did post on, to address a network connectivity issue. And um, that's also being addressed now in this latest bug fix update. And the official release notes say they addressed an issue that might affect some types of secure sockets, layer SSL and transport layer security TLS connections. These connections might have handshake failures. So if you have been experiencing any network connectivity issues, uh, do yourself a favor and just make sure you have this update installed as um, according to Microsoft, that issue now has been addressed. So that's more or less what's new with this update KB5018496 and there are other numerous uh, bug fixes too many to mention in this video so as mentioned if you have experienced any issues then just download and install the update and there's a good chance those issues might be addressed and as mentioned the task manager um, taskbar setting now also starting to roll out with this update so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one